welcome back to the channel everybody thank you so much for watching thank you for the support a little while back I did a video about watches under $100 entry-level watches from a lot of major brands you may have heard of before Seiko Casio Citizen uh, you know that kind of thing so let's say you went out you got one of those you've had it for a while you caught the watch bug and now you're looking for something a little bit next level something with maybe a little bit better movement, uh, some different complications, a little bit better build quality, that kind of thing. So I'm putting together this list of some great choices under $300. So a lot of these companies are going to be the same as the $100 list, uh, Seiko, Casio, Citizen, uh, Tissot, uh, but we're going to look at some of their different offerings in their catalog, a little bit next level. So let's flip it around, take a look at what we can get for under $300 this time. Once again, thank you for the support on the channel. Take care. All right, so first up, a classic. Timex Waterbury Hodinkee Limited Edition. This piece was commissioned along with uh, Hodinkee in the Limited Edition series for $279. You get an automatic Timex. 40 millimeter diver watch, diver style, we'll say. Has a Hodinkee signature at the six o'clock position. Not a bad looking basic watch. It's a little step up from a regular Timex. Has some water resistance. 279-ish, it'll get you by. Bulova Surveyor Classic. List for 325, it's on sale for 260. You can find them cheaper if you look. So this is a nice kind of dress, sporty type watch if you wanna have a flexibility of that type of um, style change there. But uh, nice dial on this. Uh, it's got the uh, the day up top there, the 12 o'clock position. Again, just a nice solid watch for 260. You get a little bit better quality than you would with the uh, $100 and under series that I did the video on prior, which I'll leave a link to below in the description actually. Uh, this came with another model variation here as well. I'm not too fond of this one, but uh, yeah, I think the blue and the silver are the way to go on this. But it's there if you like it, kind of a two-tone deal there. So this is a quartz piece. It's 39 millimeter. Mineral crystal though. So we're still got we still got some compromises in this price range uh, occasionally here. Stainless steel construction of course. So yeah the blue one uh, I think is a little bit a little bit more way to go, reminiscent of a uh, an OP from Rolex or Perpetual. So Phoebos Wavemaster, right at the $300 mark. These are actually pretty cool watches. The the bracelets on these are amazingly engineered. Um, nice color combo here. Good solid dive watch. Very capable. Uh, actually a functional tool watch. Um, it's got the 316L stainless steel. We have a sapphire crystal on this. Water resistance at 300 meters, a thousand feet. So this is definitely a functional tool watch, a functional dive watch here. Two-year warranty on these. Screw down crown. Got the uh, trademark octopus on the back of the case engraved there. So yeah, these are nice watches. Phoebos is a, is a pretty solid company. They started out a, a few years back and they have uh, they have come a long way. Uh, the wave dial in here is pretty cool, reminiscent of the uh, Omega Seamasters back in the day. Uh, and newer ones, of course, have the wave dial back on them. But yeah, pretty pretty cool piece for a uh, $300 range. Um, yeah, can't go wrong here. Nice, solid, sporty dive watch. So all these websites I'm on, you know, obviously you can check them out yourself. I just wanted to put these in here. Uh, so you can have an idea what's going on. Citizen, we have a Citizen Avion Chronograph. Now this is 375, but you can find them cheaper. Um, 
this is the list price on Citizen's website. Um, yeah, you can't find them cheaper. So a chronograph, inspired by vintage styling here. Green dial, which was of course all the rage back a year or two ago. Still works with this piece with the uh, the brown strap, looks really good. This is EcoDrive, so this has the light so source charging, so uh, 44 millimeter, a little wide, but it still works. Mineral crystal on this one. See the uh, EcoDrive display here. Leather strap. Does have some water resistance as well. Wouldn't go scuba diving, obviously, but it serves the purpose. So yeah, nice little uh, entry from Citizen there. As you can see, you can get them cheaper. So this one's awesome, the Spinnaker Wreck. Under $300, a watch purpose made to look like it was in a wreck. Very, very cool. Um, don't let the appearance fool you. <laughs> it's uh, it's still a solid piece. It's still built well. Um, you can get these under $300. There's a couple other colorways, uh, the red and the blue. We have the black here. So yeah, these are hand distressed. These are these are made to look like they are, they've been under the sea for a while. They've been in a wreck, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, pretty, pretty cool um, theme. Definitely need unique. We'll give it that one. Even the case there is uh, distressed. To zoom in on the dial here, uh, this is, you know you might think this is a gimmick, but this takes talent to make it look <laughs> purposely like it was wrecked, but it's done hand by hand and, and you know by machine. So yeah, pretty cool. Forty-four millimeter case, three sixteen L stainless steel, uh, and H thirty-five movement, sapphire crystal, unidirectional bezel, two hundred meter water resistance. Very cool. Seiko's entry here, another one from Seiko Sports Five called the Land Shark two eighty-nine. Couldn't get it on Seiko's website. Uh, they are available i don't know why they aren't showing them but if we go to island watch here we'll give mark from island watch some love um 289 list price is 495 obviously you're not paying that so mark gives you a little discount there i'm not sponsored by island watch just uh just happen to like mark and his channel on youtube and uh he's got some good deals going on so yeah this is a cool piece it's got an inner rotating bezel Hefty construction on this one. Looks like a solid tool watch. Definitely a statement piece. Some nice loom on there too. Seiko Lumer Bright. So, you know, rotating uh, compass scale. 23 joule. Self-winding automatic movement, Seiko, of course. Rotating scale. 42 millimeter, 16 mil thick. 200 meters of water resistance and a two year warranty. Pretty cool looking piece, good loom on this one as well. Orient, so their diver, doesn't really have a name yet, <laughs> but we'll go with the reference number. 295, can't go wrong with Orient, love Orient. The Pepsi theme, we'll call this one. Another solid dive watch from Orient. 
great company did a video on uh, on the Mako XL not too long ago. Check that one out. Morning's a great company. 41.8 millimeters, so 42 basically. This is a silver black unit. There's a bunch of other colorways here. It's kind of a interesting one with the gold bezel there. And the gradient dial on these is really cool. There's a gradient uh, lighter in the center, darker towards the edges. On the blue one, here's a Coke version. It still has a small gradient there. It's kind of tough to see, but there's a gradient still towards the center. And then a lighter one, grayish one. Go back to our version here. Yeah, Orient's a great company. 40 hour power reserve, sapphire crystal. Automatic movement. Orient zone caliber there. 200 meter water resistance, screw down crown. New directional bezel. The usual bells and whistles for an Orient dive, dive watch. Comes with a one year warranty from Orient. Again, front of $300. Solid watch from a solid company. So, C Star 1000 Chronograph, 268 USD retail. Tiso has one of the best websites. Everything's interactive. As you scroll, it, it just plays clips. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, so, so yeah, this is pretty cool. Chronograph. Uh, Tiso, another solid, solid Swiss company. Been around since 1853. Multiple colorways here. Took me a second to figure out <laughs> how to move so the uh, colors start flashing there. But uh, once you move the cursor, they start scrolling through it. So yeah, you can see multiple colorways there. Thousand feet, 30 bar water resistance. This is a quartz piece, but hey, for a dive watch with that kind of capability, I'm not complaining. Super Luminova on the hands. And they go into a little bit about the Sea Star series here. But yeah, uh, Tiso, another for under $300, cannot go wrong. Great, great company with a great heritage. It's a Chrono one. And then Victorinox, so the Swiss Army of watches. This is the basic Swiss Army Heritage version, $300. Actually one of the cheapest watches on the website. Uh, so they are a Swiss company. Uh, this is a Swiss Army Heritage one. Different colorways here. Just an overall good field watch. Basic, uh, you know, tool type of watch. It, it, it serves its purpose. It's built well. Victorinox, Victorinox is a solid company. Uh, some of these different colorways are a little bit more expensive in the 375 range, but the one I picked out for our video here, the basic one, is a uh, $300 range. And we'll just scroll through the colorways here real quick. This one's pretty cool with the navy and the dark brown strap. All black version. Pop a white dial there. Also a cool looking one with the brown strap. Stainless steel version. We did that one already. All right. So yeah, another uh, black version there. So yeah, Victorian Knox, uh, worth checking out if you haven't checked them out before. Uh, they have a wide variety of different watches. They also do a lot of other Swiss type um, products, Swiss Army knives, cutlery, uh, travel gear. So, but their watches are solid. Again, we're in the 300 and under range. We're not talking uh, high horology here, but for the price, you're gonna get a solid piece that serves the purpose. And it is Swiss made. Try it on the wrist there. 
leather bracelet or strap I should say again all these watches in this video under 300 they're gonna be a step up from the entry level like we did before on our 100 and under video they're gonna have a little bit better build quality uh, a little bit better movements uh, you know a little more bells and whistles uh, 100 meter water resistance on this one 40 millimeters super luminova five-year warranty that is amazing cannot beat that that is one of the best in the entire watch industry five solid year warranty confident in their product we'll give them that and just some specs here I just ran down really quick but definitely not least beautiful G-Shock G-Steel $300 range um, this one's actually 240 sold out currently on Casio USA website but there's a couple different colorways here of the G-Steel GST S100 series all black version yeah this is a nice piece It is a big boy though, but it is a G-Shock. So, you know, it's it's meant to be a presence on your wrist uh, and has the functionality. It's tough solar. It's got all the bells and whistles, the features, the LED lights, the hand shift feature. Handsome piece with the red accent. some of the specs here yeah that's a big boy <laughs> stainless steel See all the different features here, of course. World time, countdown timer, all the bells and whistles, usual G Shock fare. And you can poke around, you can find this available elsewhere as well. I just like to go to the source, the actual websites for the uh, manufacturers when I do videos like this, but on occasion I can't find them. So thank you so much. Really appreciate the support on the channel. 